Hi, YouTube. Which is better? The Coom Long Point Sharpener. This one branded Palomino Blackwing, but they also come unbranded. Or the Coom The Masterpiece. In this video, we're going to find out. So which is better? They both have been uh, reviewed before and they both got very high marks for making uh, nice long points on the pencil. So we thought in this video we'll just go ahead and put them up against each other. Now this is the Coom, the masterpiece from Coom, as you can see right there. And it's a two point sharpener. Magnesium body, a removable backstop, as you can see right there. And then we have a two point sharpener, also made in Germany, a Coom. And this one's branded the Pal Palomino Blackwing. And what we're going to do here is I've got a couple of pencils. Let's see if we can get back in focus here. Thank you. We have a couple of pencils here. The 909 series from Musgrave that we're going to use. They're both brand new. So each sharpener is going to get an identical pencil. So let's go ahead and start off. I'm going to start off with the one I've had the longest. And that's this long point sharpener from Coombe. You know, and you can see inside here that it resembles the masterpiece. Except for, notice that the blades appear a little longer with the masterpiece. That could be the secret between one being longer than the other. So you start by putting the pencil into hole number one. Now normally I would have this cover closed to catch the shavings, but that's what I have this paper plate for. so that uh, you can see what's going on here. I'll just get the shavings out of the way. And how these work is the first hole shaves just the wood for the most part and very little of the graphite is touched. And it's supposed to do this until it reaches the end of the backstop here. So you know when to stop. And we've reached the end right there. Let's see if we can get that in the light. Okay, you can see it's gone all the way to the end and then there's, there's nothing more there. Next, we put it in hole number two where we're going to file off pretty much the lead and very little of the wood. And in this case it's not going to go all the way to the end. You're going to turn it until it stops. And that's, that's as far as it's gone here. So there is the long point from that sharpener. And that's a nice long point. Now, let's move that off to the side. And let's bring in the masterpiece. 
Same thing. You start off with number one to shave mostly the wood, not so much the graphite, until it reaches the end of the stop, which is here. And we're almost there. And there it just stopped. It's not going any further, as you can see. And again, we see we get this long point here. And now we're going to make it into a fine point, going into hole number two. You always want to be careful with hole number two and either sharpener, because you don't want to snap the, the graphite point off. Okay, and there it is. And another nice long point. So, the sharpening mechanism itself is the same, so the only thing we really have to compare are the points. So in my right hand is the masterpiece, and now I'm going to go grab the one from the long point sharpener, which is my left hand here, and let's compare which is the better one. Well, what I'm going to do is, since they were the same, the same pencil, brand new pencil, align the bottoms here and compare that way. The one to your right is the masterpiece. And the one to the left is the long point sharpener. I think it's clear to say that the masterpiece provides a nice longer point overall. You can see more of the lead than you can on the one on the left here. And it shaves a further back as well. And I believe that that would be because the length of the blades, as we looked at already, the masterpiece is slightly longer than the long point Hume sharpener. So which is better? The masterpiece. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. But wait, there's more. I thought I would also mention something else that makes the masterpiece better than the long point sharpener. Remember that the long point sharpener has a built-in stop. It cannot be removed. However, with the masterpiece, it can be removed. So, what is the advantage of that? Well, no. I'm going to put this pencil back into hole number one. So let's see if we can get it to focus there. There we go. And without the stop, I'll go ahead and stop right there. Notice that you can just keep on going, shaving the wood off. Now, if you draw, as I do, for example, having a long lead is often quite useful for some of us artists that will form a chisel point on the very end of a long lead. And so you can do that with the masterpiece, whereas you cannot do that with the long point sharpener. Just thought I would throw that in too. Well, if you like this review, please give me a thumbs up, and if you haven't done so already, please subscribe, leave comments below, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.